Robert Oppenheimer used this as a description for the first nuclear test. When thousand suns explode in the sky, I shall come as death. He took a passage from the Bhagavad Gita. Mahabharat and Ramayana, you will see vivid description of weapons which resemble today's modern weapons. You can still explore the cosmos, you could still know everything. If you look at the sciences as we know it today, they are full of explanations. But never ever addressing the most fundamental aspect of creation in any sense. Explanation for what is already there. And those explanations keep changing every five years. And uh, a new set of people will get Nobel Prizes. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of science as a whole. It's a fantastic exploration, no question about that. Today, the top scientists in the world have fully realized that this is not the way. They are openly saying that it is not only that we do not know, we will never know, but knowing tidbits about creation itself will bring enormous amount of benefit to humanity, no question about that. But benefit to one generation and extinction to the future generations, a very short-sighted benefit. You will see in Puranas, Mahabharat and Ramayana comes under the Purana culture. You will see vivid description of weapons which resemble today's modern weapons. So they couldn't have just made up something which did not exist, the concept of it which did not exist a few hundred years ago. And uh, you will be surprised, Robert Oppenheimer, who is considered as the father of modern nuclear weaponry, when the first nuclear weapon was tested in the United States, in Los Alamos, he took a passage from Krishna, from the Bhagavad Gita, and he said, when Krishna spoke about this, he said, when thousand suns explode in the sky, I shall come as death and shall shake the world. So he took this passage and used this as a description for the first nuclear test that happened in the United States. Because the same thing was spoken almost five thousand years ago by Krishna. So why I'm going into this is, these aspects of physical sciences were explored and were rejected and not the way for the humanity. If you go this way, this is a way of destruction, this is not the way to go. So they turned the whole thing into a mystical dimension where a human being can expand and explore limitlessly without causing any damage to anything around him. Without disturbing any life, you can still explore the cosmos, you could still know everything and fundamental longing within a human being is he wants to expand. How he does it is the only question, either by conquest or by inclusion. Which way does he do it is the only question. But a human being cannot be kept here without expansion. So, when we talk about mystical dimensions, we are talking about looking at life, exploring life in a completely different direction and dimension. This needs a certain amount of reversal of everything you have done as life. If I say your life, you will immediately think your job, your business, your family, your husband, your wife, your children, your friend, 
and many other things, isn't it? Very few people, only, only, only if I put a gun to your head and say your life, then you understand what's life. <laughs> this is not a party, this is not a job, this is not money, this is not home, this is not children, this is not this and that. Life means this. What makes life is not your local train coming on time, airplane taking off on time, your cell phone working, something else happening, your, your bank account clicking. No, what makes life happen is just this, the soil, the rain, the breeze, the mountain, the tea, and what beats here, what pulsates within this… every cell in this body, and above all, the intelligence behind all this. If we want to explore something else, then we have to rejig ourselves a little bit. Rejigging ourselves may not be our idea of fun, but I want you to know one thing, the only and only thing, knowingly or unknowingly, that you're aspiring for is to become something more than what you are right now. You will never become anything more than what you are right now, unless your perception is enhanced. By increasing your ba bank balance, you will not become more. That's only in comparison with somebody. Unless everybody is little poorer than you, you won't feel good having a billion dollars. Yes or no? Suppose everybody in the world has ten billion dollars and you have one billion dollar, are you happy? <laughs> so, <laughs> so billion dollars is not going to do anything, it's only the social comparisons, anything that you may have or you believe you have achieved in life will not mean anything unless there is somebody to look down upon unfortunately. Please see this. Yes or no? Yes. The only thing that will matter is your perception is enhanced. You are experiencing more life than you were experiencing yesterday. For this, you don't need anybody's comparison. How somebody is experiencing or not experiencing is not even an issue. If you are experiencing something more than what you were experiencing yesterday, this day is a blessed day and it's a fulfilled day. Ultimately, that's the only and only thing that fulfills a human being and nothing else.